Okay, so I'm setting up the gas system today. So we've gone with Gaslow. We've got a small 2.7 kilo bottle here. You can get much bigger ones. You can get five, uh, or sorry, six and 11 kilo ones as well. Ours is gonna go on this little back step here. So this is good for us, but the same of what I'm, I'm gonna say is, is applying to all of the bigger bottles as well, because they have the same valves on this. So it's obviously a big part of the build. Um, you know, one of the big three, gas, water, electric. You know, you put a lot of money into doing these bits for the van and the utilities. And uh, I wanted to go through and explain how all of this works and maybe help anyone who's doing the same thing because there is a lot of information. There are a lot of things that you need to take into account when, when building this, especially if you're gonna be going around Europe. You know, everyone has different systems, different valve connections. Um, different regulations and all sorts so we've done all that reading and it's been really hard to find good concrete information or you know put it all together so I'm hoping to put together what we've figured out um, and, and help anyone out. So this is a refillable bottle um, if you're in the UK generally you can just get cal or gas you know you swap and replace you give the can back uh, we keep this can and it's filled up at LPG stations so, so any petrol station most will have an LPG section to it and you can just grab the, the nozzle and fill up on these. Um, so there are a few regulations with that and you have to have an external fill point for a lot of them. Um, some you don't, but it depends where you go. Uh, we've got the external um, filler kit, which is this, and you attach that on the, the body of the van, which then connects with a hose uh, to this entry point, which is W21.8 on the gas low and gas it systems. Um, you'll notice it's got like a curved edge on it. So W21.8 connection. Uh, the rest of them are W20. So that's, that's the millimeters, that's how like the diameter of the, of the thread. So W20 and pretty much everything else is W20. Like we've got all these bits and pieces here um, to go to the appliances. Um, if you're, if you want to get like the pro, these, these are, O clips rather than Jubilee clips and you, you pinch them together with pincers so I've got a pair of pincers as well for a couple of quid from um, the range. So if you're going to be doing anything in the van that might be related to your business so these will just cover you if, if that if that becomes like an insurance deal or anything like that you know. Um, same price and you just got a pair of pincers for two pounds to put them together so uh, I, thought, I thought it was well worth doing that. Um, Again, with the can, so you can have an internal filler point. So you can just get a direct piece that fits on here and then you can plug the gas on. Take your can out, fill it on that, and you don't have to worry about uh, this you know, special hose and, and kit uh, because that costs about 80 pounds itself. If you're in the sort of situation where you don't need to be spending that money, then don't. What else have I got to say? Like I said, these W20 fitting, fittings go onto most appliances. Uh, you just screw on. They have um, eight mil bayonets, like kind of um, nipples that these slip onto. And also, the other big thing you need is a regulator. This was a part that threw me off and, and we, like I said, we had to do a lot of research in the end to get this right. This is a 30 M bar regulator, which pound pressure per square inch. Um, so this then connects to this outlet which is a eight millimeter compression outlet so you have to put a copper pipe fixing in that and that screws in the metal compresses and it's solid um, so then what we've got is just another eight mil to the standard nipple that goes onto these gas valves so you know I'll just take one of those out and I'll be able to stick that in so I'll turn on this one actually look. so that'll just go straight in there get some silicon spray if it's hard for you to push in um, but you don't really need to, just give it a good old shove in it and it will just slip on, so um, that's that. Uh, the inlet for this is the W20, so again that's that one, standard. Uh, this one will come from the can, but you'll notice that it's actually the same one as uh, that goes on appliances as well. So everything that comes out of your can will be W20, save for this little bit and then that slips onto your gas line. Uh, okay, so I hope that covers everything, um, all the details. One, one more thing just to notice, because you can get regulators with all different kinds of inlets and outlets, um, W20 inlet and eight mil compression outlet on this. You can get 10 mil. 
Um, so I don't know if you can see on there. Yeah. All right, well, anyway, this says just about there, G13H9. Uh, if you look online, you can see a list of all the different outlets and inlets, different threads, metric and imperial. All, all of them have labels and numbers and um, tags assigned to them. So if in doubt, go and look at your number and find the, the inlet or outlet hose that you need so you don't end up faffing around going to shops every day and, and you know, like we had to do asking people information. Some people give you wrong information. Some people don't even know. These should be in um, a sealed container, airtight container, with a dropout vent below. So any of, if any of this gas does escape, then um, it will go, it's heavier than air, so it will go down through the pipe and you have to make a hole to the ground so that any gas building up in the, in the box can escape uh, freely into the open air. Uh, just if, if you do do this yourself, get some gas spray so you can check if you have any gas leaks as that will bubble up. I think it turns blue and bubbles up uh, if there is any gas leaking out of your connections. So I'm going to get this set up. All right, so here's where our can is going. So I'm going to use wood, um, seal it all up, and I'll probably put a drop vent right in the corner here so it hangs over. Um, put it down the side there. That'll work out well. Also, similarly, around the side, I think this is where we'll just have the exit to go out, and we'll put our filler cap about here, somewhere here. So then we'll have petrol, so diesel, LPG, all in one place, sorted. Uh, this regulator is actually going to go right in behind there at the back of the fridge. And there's a little gap here for the hose to go through. Uh, but I may just drill a hole there as well. Look who's arrived. Who? Who has arrived? Me. It's you. <laughs> Did you tell them I've been installing the gas system? Yeah, I rambled on for like 10 minutes, but I'll probably <laughs> cut it down a bit. I tried to like pass on what we've learned after struggling and being on the internet like oh. I know I think I was quite lucky but we figured it out right yeah that was the funny thing like we went to two or three gas stores and they just had no clue about <laughs> what we were doing go to the okay, caravan store and before. he's like the expert on everything <laughs> yeah. to do with it so yeah we should have a nice gas system set up we got quite a small tank, only 2.7 kilograms, but we didn't have much space for it. Yeah, I guess because mainly when we cook, we cook vegetables and rice and things like that, so that's gonna be okay. And we don't have an oven, so... And the fridge is a compressor fridge, so it doesn't need gas. No gas. Yes. I'm yeah. focusing on this one. Yeah, yeah, totally, you focus. I'm just speaking, innit? Yeah, innit? <laughs> innit? Innit? The whole system is not cheap, it's like 300 pounds in total. Oh yeah, but that's why I didn't mention it. I mentioned it was like one of the more expensive things you buy, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I mean, like if we stayed in England, of course, we wouldn't need all of this craziness. But when you go to different countries in Europe, um, every country has its own gas system of different gas canisters, so we can't just exchange them. The refillable LPG was the only thing we could do. <laughs> but you can choose from many companies. So there's Gaslo, the one that we went for. Guess Maybe because it's, it's yellow, I don't know. <laughs> no, but it, it seems really good. So now when we have a gas system, we can finally test <laughs> half of our appliances. Ooh. Yeah, and then that gives a bit of space for the bodywork between your metal and plastic bumpers or whatever just like clamp together when you screw in yeah we That's need it. to find the place for it yeah all right let's go do that okay a beautiful van but only one hole for diesel and this won't be as smooth and beautiful for much longer why what are you doing Anthony? i'm about to put another hole in the van <laughs> It's going to be the mm -hmm. fill-up point. For LPG. Okay. Uh, Are you ready? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I have all the gear right here. You don't want to wear All the gear and no idea. That's better. Okay. 
went through the wood. Now I'm gonna go through our insulation. <laughs> Okay. So no smoking. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see. 